Greetings, YouTube. Danny Staten here on the Daily Dan Block. I'm at the boat landing in Pelzer, South Carolina, what's known as the lower boat landing. It's the place where people come to put their boats in the river to go fishing. I made a video about three or four months ago here and found some very strange footprints. You should check that video out here on the Daily Dan Block. But I'm here today to tell you an interesting story. A story about a dogman sighting. Not a Bigfoot sighting. Isn't that strange? Stay tuned, YouTube. By the way, YouTube, you're with me as the first time I walk into this investigation. So I'm going to tell you the story real quick while we're standing here doing a little landscaping. A little looking around in the dirt for strange tracks or anything peculiar. And I'll tell you the story that Mr. and Mrs. Ted Shackelford told me last night about 9 o'clock at a Waffle House in Piedmont, South Carolina, as I met them to hear their story. They were celebrating their one-year anniversary here at the boat landing, where they first came on their first date and necked. They were parked right back there with the back to the water, making out like they did when they were 16 years old. And they heard a noise, a growl, a moan in the distance. They looked back through their back windshield, back window, and right here where I'm standing. And I'm going to do a little test and put my footprint down. And Yeah, very little. And there's been a lot of cars in and out here, it looks like, this morning. So any footprints seem to have been erased. But YouTube, it was the description of what they saw that caught me. Standing right here in this spot. Seven and a half, eight foot tall, large, hairy, furry creature. And I was expecting them to say, ape looking, like Bigfoot, man looking, like Bigfoot. But they did not say that, YouTube. What they said, what they said was, it looked like a werewolf from the howling. And that instantly registered dogman to the Daddy Dan. The Daddy Dan was thinking, Dogman. It's true. But maybe werewolf. Hmm. So I scoured this area for prints now, and I'm looking back. They said it stood there. It growled. It howled and ran to the left. I am traveling to the left. I know this area very good. So it's no big thing for me to come here and look around. It really is no big thing. Because I know this area quite well. Like I said, four months ago, I was in this area. Oh, my goodness, you two. As I look down here, I see a strange print in the ground, but it does not look canine or canine. This one. Now, this one right here, that could be a giant canine-type footprint. Wow. In the soft sand, as I'm traveling through, I'm seeing lots of footprints. There has been people here. As some of them do look human. I'm going to walk back and forth and have a look. Remember, you're with... I heard a limb prop somewhere. You're with me today for the first time that I am here in four months on a dogman investigation. So this is basically to you as live as it can get because I don't know what's here, even though it's the next morning. <clears throat> and whatever was... Look at this. And whatever was seen was seen... Was seen last night earlier, right after dark, around 8, 30, 9 o'clock. Plus, we get to look at the beautiful, lazy river. So we get a little scenery here. I'll walk down to the river and have a look, and then I'll come back and head up that trail. I'll try to expedite it for YouTube. Now, this print looks really weird, but it seems to be hillish, like a hill of a boot, maybe. Whatever I was tracking with the caninist looking prints back there. Didn't come down here to have a look at the river like I'm doing. But I thought anything that was still around could be anywhere in the area. So I would come down here and take a look around. Hold on YouTube and I'll go back up to the main trailhead and continue on the hunt. Well YouTube, back up here on the main trailhead. It didn't take long. Till I looked down and saw some more weird prints. See the weird prints? 
but I cannot tell what they are. Like I said, sandy enough to leave prints, but not clear enough for me to even make out whether it's human or canine. I'm going up the hill now. There's a house right over in that direction, but it's still probably a good hundred yards. I love having y'all live with me on these investigations. When I know I'm not going to be making no three and a half, four hour walk through the woods, I can cover it all real quick by just doing it live. But it's spur and it's on the fly. So I never know what I'm going to see or what's going to happen. And whatever it is, you get to experience it right here with me first. Here on the Lazy River in Pelham, South Carolina, it's what's known as the Lower Boat Landing, where Mr. and Mrs. Shackleford said they saw a large, large, hairy wolfman looking thing. And what really got me was the lady's description. I swear to God, the lady looked me right in the eyes and said, It looked like the fucking werewolf from the Highland. And that's what got me out here, having a look around. Going deeper than I've ever been in this area before, here in a few minutes, so. Look at this. This is that weird stick structure. It's still here, even though it's been torn apart some. That was from the last time I was here, four or five months ago. I will say one thing. The flowers have died down, and the pollen's not quite as bad as it was last time I was here. I was sneezing red-eyed. And somebody had said back then, four months ago, that they saw a large hairy creature in this area. Ironically, it was at such a distance, they didn't say whether it was a wolf head or a bigfoot head. Could it be... And I am dealing with two sets of cryptic creatures here in South Carolina that I am also dealing with a dogman in one area, or what's known as a dogman, and Bigfoots, Sasquatch, in other areas. Hmm. Over here on this side of the river, I notice lots of sliding marks down towards the river, and some of them do appear to be canine looking. Hmm. I find that interesting as I travel along. In the area known as the boat landing in Pells or South Carolina. It's known around here as the Laura Boat Landing. I've been out here about an hour. I walked up the other way first and didn't see nothing. Then I came down to the sighting area and decided I was just going to start the camera and let her roll. Let you on YouTube see what I see as it unfolds and as it happens. I'm really enjoying this. I hope you are too, YouTube. If we can see anything together out here, anything could happen. Very interesting, huh? Let me walk back up to the trailhead. And for right now, this is Daddy Staten on the Daddy Dan blog, bidding you an adieu. Until next time, be sure to like, subscribe, and ring the bell as I carry on down the trail and search for evidence or maybe even a video of the elusive wolf man, dog man, Bigfoot, whatever the fuck they're seeing down here. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and ring the bell. Till next time, blog over.